Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about you. <laughs> it's all about what makes you special and unique. So I'm gonna have you up today and I'm very excited for that. And I would say let's start straight away. I really want to start with this reading. So as always, my dear, I have three palettes that you can choose from and you can either choose the card or of course the crystal below it. Let me zoom a little bit in so you can see the cards better. So this is pal one with the queen of um, pentacles. <laughs> this is pile two with the high priestess. And this is pile three with the queen of cups. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video. Or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course, I'll send the comment section. And as always, my dear, if you're interested or curious in a person or reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what makes you special and unique. As always, my dear, I'm going to get you some tarot and oracle cards. And today we're going to start with some tarot. So let's see for my beautiful pile one, what makes you special and unique? For my beautiful pile one. For my beautiful pile one. The first card we have is the High Priestess. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, the Devil. For my beautiful pile one, the Ten of Pentacles. My goodness. So one card fell. We have the Six of Wands. The Hermit. Wow, the Devil and the Tower card together. And one last card, let me get it. And we have the moon card. All right. At the back of the deck, we got the king of wands. So for my beautiful pile one, what makes you special and unique? What do you need to know? So first of all, I would like to start with this. I really feel like one thing that that is really special about you is your energy because I'm seeing that you are the kind of person that a lot of people naturally feel very drawn to you. Maybe a lot of people can't really describe it. They don't understand why, but your vibe, your energy, You may even sometimes come off a little bit mysterious, but you have the kind of energy that one wants to be close to, one feels drawn to. And this could be something that you may not even be that aware of. Like maybe you're um like you're listening to this now and you're just like, no, like I don't I don't think this way. I really feel like when we talk about self-perception and other, how other people see us, there could be a little bit of a difference here. Maybe you sometimes tend to see yourself not as great as other people. 
I really want to tell you that there is so much about you that is unbelievable. So wonderful, but you may sometimes not see it because your inner saboteur may talk you out of it. The little devil, right, on your shoulder may tell you that no, like, you're not good enough or only other people can have this or that or only other people can experience this and that. I do feel like you have a little voice that may sometimes sabotage you and make you see yourself small. But you aren't small. <laughs> you are the complete opposite of that. And I do feel like this little devil kind of, you know, um, that is in your mind in a way. It definitely was birthed um, through negative experiences. Like there is no doubt about that. So for example, let's just say someone... This is very specific. It doesn't have to resonate. But I want you guys to understand what I mean. Let's just say someone watching this, they were in a relationship with someone in the past, but their partner cheated on them. And this experience has really made them, yeah, feel like not good enough or that there is something wrong about them, which isn't, absolutely not. But there is always this, this, yeah, this consequence in a way that unfortunately people who go through that terrible experience they tend to search, you know, like for the fault within themselves. And of course, that's not the case. I mean, if someone cheats on you, that says more about them than about you. But very often when a person is in that situation, they feel like, well, maybe there is something not good enough with me. And that's why my partner went to look somewhere else, right? So through some kind of experience, some of you guys could have been triggered and like this devil was was created that may sometimes tell you certain self-limiting things that are absolutely not the case. And I really want to let you know that you guys have so much potential in you and you can take it so far, but at the end of the day, you will be your your greatest saboteur or your greatest cheerleader. And if there is one thing you take out of this reading is that I can't even emphasize enough how successful you can become in this lifetime. Through your work, through your passion, you can be that one person in your family, for example, that really makes it. And when I say makes it, that's something very personal, right? So whatever success means for you, not everyone thinks that success is, I don't know, a certain amount of money in the bank account. Other people may see success as something more internal, certain well-being. It can really be anything. But I really feel like, especially financially though, for the majority of you guys, you can really succeed in this life, but it's all about you allowing yourself to be your greatest version and not holding back, not allowing this little devil to you, to talk you out or to confuse you. Because I really feel like my dear pal Juan, oh, I just, I just realized you have the queen of pentacles, right? As your card and you also have her right here. And I really feel like this Queen of Pentacles archetype, which has nothing to do with your gender, it doesn't matter who you are, this is just archetype energy. So I really feel like what makes you so incredibly special is that you can turn your life over in a way that, that no one around you could have done before. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you start. You have this potential, this energy about you that can go all the way. And especially financially speaking, you could, for example, start with zero, but really become the queen of pentacles because you have potential. You have potential that wants to be expressed, that wants to be seen. 
And it's very important that your inner saboteur doesn't hold you back from your greatness. So one thing that makes you special as well, and I really feel like once again, in a way, it is connected to your to your energy. But just to focus on you here, you are someone who's very intuitive. And your intuition, I mean, of course, we all have intuition, right? But sometimes we may be able to hear it more clearly, right? Than maybe other people because we are aware of it. We really try to understand it and we really work with it because we want to expand this gift that we have. And I really feel like for you, my dear pile one, your intuition has been guiding you for a very, very long time now. And what I find very interesting is that for some of you guys, you could have also fought with your intuition a little bit. Because your intuition is guiding you towards this path of independence, feeling empowered and success. But it could be the case that very often you you resisted your intuition because of insecurities, because of confusion. And this is why it is so important to to have a great relationship with yourself, right? And I really feel like one thing that is very clear about you that makes you incredible incredible is the fact that you're going to make incredible things for yourself through your intuition. And especially looking into the future, it's almost like I see a journey here. I mean, it's interesting how this is about, you know, what makes you special and unique, but we got some some insights regarding what you may have gone through in your life when it comes to the saboteur, when it comes to not seeing your full potential, because that's almost like the beginning of your journey. And what I'm seeing here, when we look at where you're heading towards regarding your journey, it's just this, once again, like an alchemist, you're turning things around for yourself. And this strength for continuing no matter what, is such a beautiful thing and it makes you so special because you know how it feels like to go through life when it's tough you've experienced all that but you chose you chose to keep going no matter what no matter what blow came towards you you always continued and you became stronger and stronger and this strength that you embody is not only going to be a great source of, of energy for you to succeed, but it's also a source of growth, I'm hearing. And one thing that really makes you special is the fact that you are someone who... Um, continuing now I feel like we have talked about the uh, previous message for a long time now let's go to the next message another thing I see here is that you are someone my dear who can also be by themselves you you definitely have been working on your relationship towards yourself even if it's subconsciously I really feel like you are through the strength that you have, you are connecting, you are reconnecting towards yourself. And I can't even describe, like, I can't even stress enough, you guys. You are so strong, my dear pal Juan. You are so incredible strong. And what I also find very beautiful about you is the fact that, as I said, you, you can be by yourself. So with the hermit card being here, you know, you like sometimes people may have a very hard time to just be by themselves. They always need people around them, but you are working. You're working on your on your relationship towards yourself and you're getting comfortable, more than comfortable with with being with you. And the greatest relationship we will ever have, right? 
is always with ourself and I really see you here working on yourself and nurturing this relationship and you know very often people only give attention to the goal like for example they think that once they reach this goal of like reconnecting to themselves that's like the best thing but the journey is also important what makes you so incredibly <laughs> wonderful is the fact that you're nurturing yourself in that way and no matter what was yesterday you're you're doing the best when it comes to today and that says so much about who you are and about your journey i really would like to just hug you like to be honest like i have so much respect for you my dear Pawan. you went through some tough times in your life and you always kept going and your energy shines differently and it's completely noticeable people notice about you that you are so different and you are so unique and your energy sometimes introduces you before you do right and i really feel like in that case this is something that is really clear with you we also have the ten of pentacles right and when i saw the ten of pentacles i I didn't really pay that much attention to the meaning of the card, but more so the illustration, which you can see here. It's a beautiful illustration. <laughs> so wonderful. And I know why when I saw this and I saw like all these people smiling and laughing. I hope it is visible from here. The first thing that came in my mind was the fact that you are someone who makes people happy you are someone who makes people laugh who makes people smile and that's such a beautiful thing about you such a special thing about you you know how to uplift others you have this very natural gift that comes to you you can brighten up a person's day and very often you don't like you may once again do this even like very subconsciously you're not aware of it but when you feel like someone is feeling some type of way you say the exact like thing that should be said in order to make this person feel better you you have this this natural way of nurturing someone i really feel like my dear pal one there is so much nurture energy coming from you. And once again, I would like to say it because like it's so important. It is so important for you to understand. I really feel like my dear Pa Wan, there is so much that you can create for yourself. There is so much that you can birth. You can co-create your life in a way that you can create your dream life. And I really want to make sure that you understand that it always starts with you, right? Don't be... Yeah, don't be in your way. Because I see you growing into a independent confident glowing which you already do but <laughs> just once again incredible person allow yourself to see the side of you and maybe a lot of you already do right maybe there are just like a small amount of you guys who who are still working on that side but i really would like to say that for my dear pal one you can create great things for yourself things that others can't even imagine and that's something that is incredible special about you you're the type of person who can make their dreams happen who can make their dreams reality 
And maybe the little devil used to always say, no, you can't do this. It's always other people who can make the dreams real because I don't know they have this or that and you don't have this you don't you're not good enough like you know those negative self-talk but it's interesting how those words are such a illusion because everything about you is is full of potential and I see you moving towards that direction of of creating the life that you want and creating that version of you that you want and that's something that makes you incredibly special because you will fearfully go forward you will not compromise anymore no not anymore so my dear pile one this is all i have for you for today as always my dear please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading Thank you so, so much for allowing me to read for you and for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. As always, if you're interested or curious in a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, you can of course feel free to email me. Lastly, if you would also like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. My dear pal Juan, take care my love. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what makes you special and unique. First of all my dear, I would like to get you some oracle cards and then we will dive a little bit deeper into the topic with some tarot. For my beautiful pile two, what makes you special and unique? Let's see, let's see. I, <laughs> I already heard a lot of things. <laughs> yes, a lot of things that make you special. Absolutely. The first card we have is honor your feelings. Be real. Look at those beautiful colors. Like, and my nail polish <laughs> really fits them let's see so we have clear your mind let's get you guys one last card and we have lighten up so for my beautiful pile two what makes you special and unique first of all i would like to start with this i really feel like one thing that is just so wonderful about you is that you are a really real person you are a very honest person in the sense that who you are or better to say let me put it that way what you show is who you are you are not someone who who fakes yourself in any way whether it's in friendships or relationships of any sort really you're someone who who is their authentic self and you really give yourself the the freedom to be so now what do, does that mean i mean freedom to be so authentic self what unfortunately there are a lot of people that think that you know in order to be liked or in order to to profit a certain way they have to pretend being a certain way and they don't allow themselves to be who they are because they feel like if they do so, it may somehow bring them in a disadvantage. But we should never ever compromise on being who we are. Not only can it energetically be really, really bad for us, but just out of self-respect, right? Being who we are just shining the way we are, expressing our authentic self. This is one of the most beautiful things one person can do. And you being your authentic self, you being you, is what makes you beautiful. There are so many people out there, right? But there is not a second you. And... 
I know it sounds very like, I don't know, cheesy or so, but it is just the reality. You know, very often people try to be like each other, especially online, right? Where um, they think if they present themselves a certain way, this is what, well, others may like. But you are your own unique... Um, self and you shine so differently when you allow yourself to be that and I really feel like my dear pile too through your authenticity through who you are you have actually the potential to reach a lot of people so for example there are so many people out there who would love to be around you who would love to be with you whether it's friendship wise or romantic wise you just have <laughs> your unique colors that no one else has and i really feel like if you and that's a very interesting message so it could be for someone special out there like for um, sp someone specific if you show yourself who you are, your authentic self, you could actually get a lot of following. That's something I heard. Of course, as always, take it how it resonates, but this could be a message for someone out there. And I really feel like another thing that makes you so special and also makes you instantly attractive is the fact that you respect yourself and you respect your feelings. And I know these are things that sound so simple, but someone who really embodies these energies, this can make such a huge difference. And we also have light and up here, right? Like the light, someone who shines. And I really feel like, my dear, the way you shine is in such a bright and authentic way you could be someone who for example other people tend to trust very easily or maybe sometimes people open up to you very easily as well maybe you sometimes don't understand why this is so but you have experienced that people feel very safe around you and it's because of your energy it is because of this keyword for your pile for sure authentic energy that you embody and that people notice even if it's just subconsciously but they pick up on it and the subconscious message it of course also influences our behavior and people felt drawn towards you they they feel like it is very easy to trust you because you are coming off as someone who is real like that. And I really feel like, my dear pal, too, a lot of people also feel attracted towards you physically. You are someone who's very, very beautiful. And... I don't know if you're even aware of this. You may listen to this and you're just like, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. But what I always like to say, sometimes our self-perception can be very, very different from how others perceive us. I just would like to say that I actually see a lot of people like having an eye on you, being interested in you. But I don't know if you're aware of it. I mean, a lot of you guys could be. But I feel like some of you guys tend to sometimes... Mm, make yourself, you know, a little bit smaller than you are. Because maybe you unfortunately um, like got this mindset with time. But 
regardless of how you see yourself, I just want to tell you that you are more, more, you are more than good enough and that you are beautiful in so many different ways. So don't question that. Don't question whether you are desirable or not because you absolutely are on so many, so many different levels. And I see you having a lot of admirers. I do feel like some of them though are secret admirers. There's this energy of secrecy in here. And maybe that's why you may not be aware of it. You may watch this and say, well, no, <laughs> I haven't had a suitor in like such a long time. For some reason, I know whether, why is that? Can we get some messages? For some reason, maybe some people, they, they may not share it with you. They are secret admirers. Why is that? Because your energy is very welcoming. Hmm. Maybe throughout the reading, we will get some information about that, about why this is coming through. But I really would like to say that my dear pile to you, you express your uniqueness as well in a lot of different ways, I'm hearing. I mean... Maybe some of you guys, you like to physically even do something that maybe others around you haven't done before, whether it's through some kind of a activity that you're the first in when it comes to your family or when it comes to your friendship group, or whether it's something physically you like to, to change, which really makes you unique in your own way. I really feel like my beautiful pile one, uh, not pile one, <laughs> pile two, excuse me, that this uniqueness you have, people notice it. They notice that there is something about you. Maybe this is even something that someone has told you before for some of you guys. Maybe you have heard before, you're so different, you're so unique, you're so special. And then maybe those people, they had a hard time to explain why. Because, of course, I talked about things that make you special, but it's also in your energy. It's something you feel. And this is something that makes you really, really beautiful as well. Let's get you guys some tarot cards. I want to get more information let's see for my beautiful pile two what makes you special and unique let's see my dear for my beautiful pile two for my beautiful pile two what makes you special and unique let's see two cards I only want one okay we have the strength card the other card fell I'm only gonna take this one For my beautiful pile two, what makes you special and unique? We have the five of swords. Queen of wands. The Six of Cups. Let's see, let's see. The World. 
What makes you special and unique? For my beautiful pile to Page of Pentacles. My goodness. We have the Empress. Yeah. One last card. Oh my goodness, a lot of cards fell. Only one. Only one, please. Ooh. And we got the tower. All right. So, my dear pile two, what else do you need to know? So, I just want you guys to look at the strength card for a moment. So, we see a woman sitting on a giant lion and i don't know why when i saw this illustration and this is not gender specific it doesn't matter who you are this is just metaphorically speaking or symbolically i i almost saw you like this is you and this giant lion is your energy <laughs> this is your energy carrying you like literally carrying you and you know i think if i'm not wrong i am I already told you guys that it's almost like your your energy is introducing you before you do this is exactly what i meant you're coming off with such a force and this energy is something that is so unique some people may not be able to explain it what it is but there is this energy that just shows how different you are and in this particular case it's like this giant lion it's this this force this strength this incredible power that your energy embodies and once again with the world card being here for some reason my dear pal too i really feel like there are a lot of people who would like follow you or would want to connect with you so maybe some of you guys would like to show themselves like on social media for example but you're not quite sure about it well this reading is definitely showing us that your energy is an energy that a lot of people are gonna like and a lot of people would want to connect with let me see What else can we get? All right, so yeah, you see, um, before I continue, just coming back to the world card, we see this woman and she's holding the world like in her hands, you know? For some reason, this message is definitely very, very dominant. So just so you guys know, if you would like to share something online then i feel like there are a lot of people globally speaking who would want to to be a part of it now with the empress card being here the beautiful empress card one of my definitely favorite cards in the tarot i i feel like i say this about every card but yeah there are a lot of wonderful cards that i like in the tarot with the empress card being here the empress card as i've said multiple times it embodies this energy of of strength of beauty of course the feminine as well but we see here someone glowing from their heart space right and this card in itself is just wow like there is so much we can talk about when it comes to the illustration and i really feel like this is your authentic self this is you allowing your authentic self to be shown no matter what and this is what makes you beautiful this is what makes you special you allowing yourself to be who you are and i really feel like my dear one message i'm also getting is that you are very inspiring now i don't know whether this is something um, which is already in your energy or whether this is something that you will um, like create for yourself like what do i mean with that so for example maybe you're gonna do something in the future 
that makes you available to love people let's just say I don't know why this social media example is not letting me go <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with it for a moment let's just say you guys are gonna show yourself somehow on the internet what you will also create is a love inspiration for others a love inspiration for others to to be who they are and if it's like if some of you guys are watching this and you're just like no definitely not my place is not online like this is not for me then of course it doesn't have to be online it could be the case that for example you you inspire let's say your friends or you inspire a lot of people who who are around you or who know you I don't know whether those people actually tell you that maybe they tell you for some wow you're so inspiring I admire you for others maybe they don't you don't hear those things people tend to think those things but they will not tell you however it's gonna apply to you I really feel like you're someone who brings a lot of inspiration and and people love that you can be very very proud of yourself my dear pal too like seriously you have this this wonderful energy that that is so different and it is so wonderful to be around you are you're amazing there's no other way to say it you are amazing and like alone now connecting with your energy through the reading it all like this already feels so wonderful and I feel blessed like your energy is wonderful it really is let me see another thing I see what makes you special is the fact that you're not scared to also connect with your inner child you're not scared to stand up or better to say do the things that you love even if it's for example doing something let's just say watching a favorite show from your childhood there are a lot of people who, I don't know, maybe don't want to do this because they think, no, I grew up, like, I'm not a child anymore. You know, like, those those thoughts some people have, which really, like, come from the ego in a way. You're not like that. You allow yourself, you, once again, give yourself the freedom. This is something for sure when it comes to you and why you're so special. You give yourself so much freedom in, in many different ways. But stucking, uh, or talking now only about this inner child energy, you're, you don't have those thoughts. You allow yourself to, to come back to this very carefree time. And if it's watching a favorite like TV show from your childhood, I feel like it just gives you so much and it really allows you to connect with your inner child. And this is something beautiful that... Like, look at the Six of Cups. Do you see that? There is this woman and then we have li this little girl here who's, like, playing as if she's, like, a pilot. Let me see if I can zoom in. Do you see that? And this is something so beautiful. However you're expressing this side of yourself, I see that it's so nurturing and I see that it's so healing as well so don't allow other people talk you out of it which you definitely don't because you are a very strong person like other people's opinions are not gonna influence you definitely not because i mean the fact that you are your authentic self unapologetically that already says a lot either you like it or you don't like this may be something you th you say or you think about when you know other people may say something about it like you are you period and this is such a wonderful thing i love this <laughs> i love this energy pile two this has to be my favorite pile <laughs> i haven't recorded pile three yet but i already love this so much so my dear pal two as always please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading thank you so so much for allowing me to read for you and of course, for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. 
as always, if you're interested or curious in a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, of course, my dear, you can feel free to email me. Also, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal to take care, my love. Hey, pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see. What makes you special and unique? First of all, my dear, I would like to start with some oracle cards and then we will dive a little bit deeper into the topic with some more tarot. So let's see for my beautiful pile two, uh, pile three, excuse me. Well, at least some of you guys have been, whoop, have also felt drawn to pile two. If this is the case, and of course, feel free to watch it. If not, then as always, just stick with this one here. For my beautiful pile three, what makes you special and unique? All right, let's start. What makes you special and unique? Oops, okay. The first card we have is Lapis Lazuli, Spiritual Guidance. For my beautiful pile three, we have esoteric knowledge. All right. Ooh, too many. My goodness, all the cards. We have protection and defense. Let's get you guys one last card. And we have interesting. Okay. And we have for my beautiful pile three abundance and prosperity, the citrine crystal. So for my beautiful pile three, what makes you special and unique? I would like to start with this. I really feel like my dear pile three, I'm not receiving any messages mm, yet, whether you're already on that journey or not but i just would like to tell you that there is a lot in this lifetime that you're gonna explore or get to know about yourself spiritually speaking you are definitely on a very 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 interesting spiritual path in this lifetime and what i'm seeing here is that there is so much so much knowledge and so many gifts that you have which you may have not explored yet but i see you definitely welcoming them or opening yourself up to them more and more and opening yourself up to this spiritual side of you it's not only gonna yeah help you understand yourself better but you're gonna Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm receiving so many messages. Um, you're gonna open yourself up to a world that you maybe never thought was possible. And I really feel like, my dear pal three, you are so gifted. You are so in tuned, not only with your higher self, but so many gifts that with time you're gonna welcome and it's gonna change your life forever so for example i'm getting multiple gifts or energies coming through it could be the case that one like some of you guys are incredible empaths and with time you actually gonna understand how to use this this gift for for yourself in a very positive way because sometimes certain gifts can definitely be also very difficult. You know, when you are sensitive to energy, to other people's energies, of course, it can be great. But it can also be something very, very difficult to handle. Because you're almost like so exposed to other people's moods or to other people's energies on so many different levels, right? And I really see that you're growing. It's almost like I see you starting off as the student and... You're growing so beautifully and you will, will become the master. So as I said, 
what I'm getting, for example, is some of you guys could be incredible empaths. You sense energies like big time. You understand energies around you. You can't describe it. You can't understand it. Uh, like, um, not understand. You can't explain it. That's what I want to say. But you understand energy. So, for example, you may meet someone for the very first time. But you are getting those signals, those energies from them that are not visible from the surface. Like maybe they show themselves very positive and they are pretending to be a certain way. But you can feel that there is this maybe fakeness or there is this complete different side to them that they're overplaying. And you're just in tune, you know, you can read energies, you can read people. For others of you, your intuition could be very, very high. And, you know, you may be someone who will, like, take a lot of decisions based on their intuition because you have a lot of trust in that. And this has helped you to go to incredible places or create a lot of wonderful things for you. For others, maybe you get a lot of insights, a lot of knowledge, a lot of information from your dreams. In your dream state, you you really explore a lot of your gifts. Whatever it may be, it could even be like other examples. This was just important for me to say, you know, so you understand what I mean. Whatever your gifts are... I really see you incredibly gifted and this is something that makes you so special because with time you will use those gifts and you will actually not only help yourself but also help other people through them. And I just want to tell you guys that you have an incredible spiritual team. Your spirit guides, the energies that you're connected to, your soul family, they are supporting you, they are protecting you, they are with you and you're not alone you never have been alone my dear pal three you have an incredible team supporting you and this is something that makes you so special and unique because you have your own unique like team of guides and they love you so much <laughs> like this is something i can feel like right through here it's just incredible and I really feel like it is important for me to mention that they want you to know that. Which I feel like you already know. You already know that. But let me just say it one more time. Your spirit guides, they love you so, so much. Because there is so much about you which is lovable. But besides that, like this is unconditional love. This love is not based on a certain condition. This is just a true spirit to spirit connection and i just want to tell you guys that like this is so oh my goodness like i feel like i'm even getting very very emotional because this energy is so intense and it's also interesting for me that you chose the pile with the queen of cups right and of course, Cups energy in general is a very emotional energy. But the Queen of Cups is like... She, and I'm saying she, but it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what gender you have. This is just metaphorically speaking. The Queen of Cups is just the master of her emotions. And she is emotional intelligence. She's aware. She understands her emotions so, so much. And... I really feel like a way for you to to connect with your gifts is also through your emotions. Your emotions are definitely um, very, very high. I mean, you could be a water sign, but it doesn't have to. I am not concentrating here on zodiac signs. I'm concentrating here on the energy that you embody. And I really feel like my dear pile three, whoever you you come together with, whether it's, you know, friendship wise or romantic wise, you are a blessing in their life because you are the kind of person that can fulfill someone emotionally so, so much. 
And yeah, also with the black tourmaline being here, this protection energy, I really feel like my dear pile three, you are heavenly like connected and protected here. So just so you know, and there is just something about you which is so soft, so gentle. You are the kind of person who who touches people's hearts. It is so easy for for you to connect with someone's raw emotions. And this is just like there is so much love in you. There is so much love in you and this is so wonderful, my dear pal 3, like seriously. People can be so thankful like you are such a kind-hearted person so gentle so sweet and yeah you are really really special my dear pal three you really really are i also feel like you may bring this this calmness to other people you have this very nurturing even healing once again, I talked about the gifts, right? The spiritual gifts. I really feel like for a lot of you guys, you are healers. And just like being around you, maybe this is something someone has told you before, but your energy alone can be so healing. You have a very healing presence and you also bring calm to others. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Like only through these energies that already came through i would love to get to know you like seriously this is just such a such a wonderful person to connect with and wow 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 <laughs> there is no other way to say it so maybe some of you guys you feel drawn towards you know certain like natural or just really anything that has to do with something with like healing whether it's energetically physically you just have this this beautiful effect on others and you are someone who can heal people you really can it's through your it's through your energy it's through the way you are you allow other people to be in the safe space and this is something that is not easy to do oh my goodness pal three like i would love to give you a hug <laughs> like seriously also we have the citrine card here right and it says abundance and prosperity and with this card being here i really feel like your energy is very abundant being with you like when i look into your energy it is not an energy of lack it is an energy of abundance and i really feel like this is where a lot of like this this source comes from like the source of of healing comes from you have such a big heart that you share with others you have such a beautiful energy that you share with others like wow let me get you guys some tarot cards because like <laughs> i this is incredible this is just amazing For my beautiful pile three, what makes you special and unique? For my beautiful pile three, what makes you special and unique? Okay. The first card we have is the world card. my goodness the ten of swords what makes you special for my dear pile three the six of pentacles
Three of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, too many. Too many cards. Eight of Swords. The Hermit. The Six of Swords. And let's get you guys one last card. All right. And we have the Nine of, of Cups. Wow. At the back of the deck, we have the High Priest as well as the overall energy. Yeah, this, this definitely doesn't surprise me at all. The High Priestess is embodying this beautiful connection to her spirituality and she is a mystic, like she really is. And I really feel like, my dear pal three, there is so much about you that you haven't even discovered yet when it comes to your spirituality. And definitely if you choose to go this path in the future, then there is a lot you can look forward to. Now, one thing I would like to say here is that very often people who are healers people who have this this gift they are the one who find themselves in a lot of painful situations in life like those who heal those who bring positivity and light very often find themselves in darkness and surrounded by a lot of turmoil and I really feel like, my dear pal three, you are not a exception here. You as well. You've had your fair share of battles in your life. And I see that at one point in your life, you have felt very stuck. And it was so difficult for you to keep going. But I can only applaud you. Like, you... You continued no matter what, no matter what the odds were, you continued. And my dear pal three, I see that you brought an ending to those very difficult times, this very difficult phase in your life. It wasn't easy, absolutely not. But you brought an end to it. And it's interesting how this time in your life has actually shaped who you are in so many different ways. I really would like to say that I am proud of you. <laughs> so are your spirit team, all right? <laughs> your spirit team is so, so proud of you. And even if at that time you felt alone or you felt very, very lonely, I want to tell you that energetically you've always been supported and I literally saw a group hug and I really feel like like this was you in the center and all your spirit team was like around you hugging you at once and Oh my goodness, my dear pal three, you don't even know how much love there is like for you. How much love you're daily exposed to. How important you are to so many energies out there. And it's just so admirable. Yes, this difficult time in your life, it was everything but easy. But it's so admirable to see that you overcame it and you you moved on from it, which definitely was not an easy thing to do. And I'm so proud of you. Another thing I would like to mention here is that I see that you are a very generous person when it comes to your energy, when it comes to your time. And once again, this is definitely connected to the abundance energy I talked about. You have this just this abundance to you that you share with others. 
and it's a blessing like I can't even <laughs> emphasize this enough and it is so interesting to me here to see that I really feel like in this lifetime my dear you will meet some people from your like soul um, family and you will come across soulmates for sure <sighs> I see you having incredible connections, but it all starts with you and you, you're you coming forward with this very healing and powerful energy that is going to attract those people into your life. There is a lot coming your way, my dear pal three, that you don't see yet. And I really feel like in the future you're gonna dive into different waters that are gonna bring you so much closer to, to who you are even more. And you guys could go all the way in the sense that remembering past lives, having incredible meditation experiences become incredible healers you have so much potential in that sense so yeah wow <laughs> wow is all i can say so there is so much that is just more than special and unique about you and i love this energy so much my dear pal three this is all i have for you for today as always my dear please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading Thank you so, so much for allowing me to read for you and for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. As always, if you're interested or curious in a person or reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, of course, my dear, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. My dear pal three, take care, my love.